During the Book of Boba Fett, we saw the arrival of the Twin Huts, Jabba's cousins. Now, while I found it to be a little too convenient that they showed up around the same time that Boba did, and you know, not any time during the last five years to claim Tatooine, I think I can theorize on a few things here, and maybe answer a few questions in a couple minutes. I think while Bib Fortuna did take the throne of Jabba after his passing, I believe he was probably just a puppet for Jabba's family. He was like a placeholder, you know, he was just taking orders from the higher ups and keeping the seat warm while they attended to other matters. Jabba had established his position on Tatooine for so long that no one really dared question Bib Fortuna, who of course had been Jabba's right-hand man for so many years. And now, being connected with the Huts, it's not really going to be too wise for anyone to challenge Bib Fortuna because then the Huts are just going to get involved. So in a way, Bib was very protected. Like I said, he was just a placeholder. He was like the manager when the owner wasn't there themselves. Now once Boba arrived, talk spread through the galaxy that he killed Bib and took the throne, and obviously this wasn't good for business for the Huts. So the twins arrived to stake their claim and tell Boba what's up after their puppet died. Now speaking of rightful heirs to Jabba's throne, this raises the question, wouldn't it be Jabba's son, Rota? We haven't seen him for about eh, 25 or 30 years since the Clone Wars, so where could he be? I think he's probably aging really slowly like Grogu since Huts can live to be over a thousand years old. And while he might be 30 years old, let's say, he's still a toddler or like a young child. Not fit to rule Tatooine, of course, on his dad's throne. So until Rata was ready, the twins had Bib Fortuna watch the palace and essentially just be the errand boy until either the twins came down to Tatooine or Rata grew up enough to rule himself. I kind of see Bib Fortuna like the major domo of Tatooine for the huts. Kind of like how the mayor has one. Now, huts live to be as old as Yoda's species, as I mentioned, or even older, well over a century. So Jabba died at the age of 600, and I think his cousins and son will surely outlive him unless something bad happens to them before 600. So from here, I think Boba needs to be in good graces of the crime leaders to take out the twins, and in order to do that, maybe he has to do a few odd jobs to win their respect. If he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Black Chrysanthemum, who's of course the assassin that is hired to be loyal to the Huts, I don't think it's going to end well for him. But if he gets Bosk on his side, and maybe Dengar, then I can see this going in his favor. Ultimately, I'd like for Boba, Fennec, Bosk, and Black Chrysanthemum to become the new Suicide Squad going into Season 2 and teaming up together. So let me know what you think about Jabba's son. Where is he at? Is he going to come into the picture at some point? Maybe, you know, when Grogu grows up as well. And then we could see a new generation of Star Wars with, you know, all these older species that can live for a really long time like Grogu and Rata. Now, as for older species, Wookiees also live to be extremely old. So do you think Black Chrysanthemum is going to join Boba someday? Maybe it's like a life debt, Boba saves him in some dire situation. I honestly think that would be pretty cool if something like that happened in the Book of Boba. Because I think Black Chrysanthemum, Boba, Bosk, and Fennec would be a really sweet team. And heck, throw Dengar in there too, why not? Let me know if you think we're going to see Han, Luke, and Leia. Let me know if you think Black Chrysanthemum could take Boba out. And let me know if you think we're going to see Jabba's son and where he's been at this whole time. Thanks for watching this quick little video. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the watch party. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always.